uh, I'm going to take you on a, a journey today and we're going to go and visit a flat in Mount Street in Mayfair. So my mate is the agent and he's going to take us on a guided tour and I'm going to give him my feedback on what it needs to refurb it. just showed me this uh, uh, top floor apartment in Mount Street uh, in Mayfair. So prime, prime, prime area. It is on the top floor and it is three bedrooms, um, 1,550 square feet. And uh, I think they are trying to sell it for 4.95 mil. So at the moment, that is extremely high for a unmodernized property uh, in Mayfair. Yes, it's Mayfair and it is the, the world's most exclusive uh, area, basically in Mayfair. You know, it is prime, 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 but the market at the moment is a little bit tricky and people are looking to get um, bargains, not paying sort of over the market value for something unmodernized. So I've literally had a walk round. I'll show you some clips as I'm talking here. Um, but I've walked round with him and I've given him my opinion, uh, basically on what needs to happen. Um, you know, currently it's all spread out uh, into individual rooms. I think the uh, lounge and one of the bedrooms need to be knocked through into one to make a beautiful, uh, kitchen diner area you know that'd be awesome because you've got you got uh, balcony doors opening up onto Mount Street in Mayfair awesome what a view um, and also the wardrobes they must be a metre deep a metre deep wardrobes so can you imagine how much square footage that is eaten up when the estate agent's done the, uh, the the floor plans, too much. So they need to be made small, and it's it's you know the place is probably has had a refurb for 25 years. It's very dated. So I'm guessing you know ballpark numbers minimum spend 300k to do you know to do the structural work, knock it through, refurb everything. But you know, at 300, that's not going to be high end. And remember, um, this is prime Mayfair, so whoever's going to be buying it, they're going to want it extra special. So do you just spend enough to open the space up, and um, you know, put a nice kitchen in? But really, don't go too far because whoever's going to buy it, whether they're going to be Russian or uh, Middle Eastern. They're going to put their own stamp on it. So there's but there's a good potential someone's going to go in there and strip all the stuff out that the, 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 the developers put in. So, um, yeah, so basically the whole point of the trip was is to give my opinion on what the owner can do to add value to the property so she can get a full asking price of 4.95 mil. Now, because I think at the moment she'd be lucky to get 4.25 mil so if she spends uh, you know her 300k just opening it up stripping everything out making it all clean fresh painted finish and at least someone can walk in there and have an idea about the space and then they can put their own stamp on there they can put marble on the floors they can put bloody uh you know silk wallpaper whatever they want to do but at the moment i think the uh, owner of the property, she needs to invest to get their maximum return. Otherwise, as I see it, it's a development opportunity. So for me as a developer, you would want to spend maybe 
3.95, so a million pound less to buy it now as a development opportunity. So obviously the lady ain't gonna do that. Um, so yeah, interesting. Um, and also um, Rob's uh, mother, she's in the business as well, and her connections are truly world class. So she does, she works for loads of Russians and Arab billionaires and princesses. And uh, basically they wanna do, they wanna team up with me so I can do exactly the same thing what I've just done in this Mayfair job and all of the other properties they've got and they manage you know maybe in her uh, portfolio of properties she looks after there could be uh, you know houses which we could add square footage or basements or apartments where we could do loft conversions or side returns you know anything where she can put it to her clients to say look if we do this we can add value to your property and also you may be to get more on the rental so, it could be good. And the best thing of all, Rob is such a nice guy and his mum's lovely, you know. Honest, and that's all I want. I don't want to be wrapped up in a load of grief. Um, so now, uh, just heading back to the office. Traffic is hell on earth. So just coming past uh, Drayton Gardens, and this road here is where our mate old Kylie Minogue lives. All right, Carls. Uh, whoever wants to go and knock her door, um, I won't tell you the number because she might go mental. And if, but if you go down, there's usually paparazzi out the front anyway, or and out the back. Uh, so yeah, just uh, heading back through South Ken, stuck in loads of traffic, and it's going to take me probably half hour to get back to the office. And. Uh, we're just coming by Chelsea Football Ground and as you can see we're stuck in traffic but on the left hand side what do you see? You see our big blue NU. There she is, look. We've had that up there for, I don't know, five years coming up. Look at that, look. Beautiful. traffic. God knows what's going on. Well, that traffic was really bad. It took me half hour to get back from Mayfair to Fulham. Um, anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like and share and I will see you all tomorrow. See ya!